everything is design. And when it comes to your business, design is really how your business works, not how your logo looks. Hey friends, my name is Axe. I am a designer turned founder, and I have a very long experience working in the tech industry, turning ideas into products and services. My background started actually as a scientist in research in academia, where I worked on creating a lot of experiences that were built on top of machine learning algorithms and AI, like user interfaces that adapts themselves if the user has tremors, like say, if it's somebody with Parkinson's or an older adult is using the computer. I've also coined a game that detects dyslexia using AI. So we would map out how well you're doing with this game. And if you play for like 15 minutes and with like 90% accuracy, we can tell whether or not you have the risk of dyslexia. And then I spent a lot of my career helping product teams create new experiences, whether as a consultant, as a designer, as a product manager. And then most recently I started my own company in collaboration with my own wife. We started a company called Third Brain, where we're using generative AI and trying to find ways to help couples offload the mental load of daily lives. So we're thinking about ways of how can we use generative AI to be there for us, to help us on top of our things that make up the day-to-day -day life and really giving the two heads of uh, households a space that they can reach for the information or the collective knowledge that make up their household. Building Third Brain over the past few months has been a really cool experience. One that has taught me a lot and that the experience made me realize that there are a lot of things that maybe first time founders, entrepreneurs, uh, even solopreneurs starting out for the first time might not know. So I decided to start filming the thing that I've learned and share it with you. So maybe you can watch this and learn something new, or maybe it gives you the sound peace of mind that what you're doing is also worked for somebody else, or maybe what you want to do did not work for somebody else. But to bring it back to experience design and why it is the, really the subject that I want to talk about the most in this channel, besides my own background and personal experience, because I truly believe that everything is designed. If you think about design as the thinking or the intelligence behind the creation that we make. So as human beings, we've been designing things for forever since we started, you know, chopping wood and making fire or building shelter. We've always took our thoughts and manipulated the environment around us and made new equipment and then maybe services to help us achieve some kind of goal and, and problem solve. And that's truly what design is. It is creating solutions to problems and experience design is actually the journey you're taking a person, your customer on from them being in a state of having a problem, discovering the solution that you make for them and then taking them on this journey, whether it's a service that you're giving them one-to-one -one or a package service in the form of a product, like a chair, a piece of furniture, or a software app to put them in a state of having their problem or their pain or their pain actually solved. Don Norman, some people consider him the godfather of user experience design. He said that experience design encompasses all aspects of the end user's interaction with the company, its services, and its products. So really when you're making a product and putting it out there, you're starting a service business and everything from how people find you, your marketing, what your messaging and positioning is, how people deal with your customer service support, their onboarding to your product, their offboarding to your product, even them recommending your product to others. These are all aspects of the experience design that you're making. So this is a very rich area and companies that really are design led and focus on design, like the Apples, like the Airbnbs are the ones who create truly lovable experiences and lovable products that given a sea of options and a very competitive playground where other offerings from other companies could be even not the same, but even maybe better. Like there are a lot of people who would say that some Android phones are more superior to iPhone phones, but yet a lot of people, myself included, gravitate towards the iPhone because of the entire experience that Apple has curated. Same thing with Airbnb. And because the experience goes beyond just the interactions with one feature or one product or one aspect of a product, but rather it's the entire experience with all the touch points with the company 
it's why we prefer one company over the other. So hopefully I'll see you again in another video. And remember that great design isn't just seen, it's felt by all five senses. So keep that in mind the next time you design something. See you in the next one.